Tom was a throw to the middle and then a pop down to the player just slightly further at the back. This time they go straight to the back. Yeah. Foskey, straight to ground. And Dani Rousseau gets his hands on it. We're going to get a wider runner. Stegman. Wallabies hold them out, Dazelle. He's been good since he came on, John Dazelle. And they fire it out to big CJ Thunderlinder, and he's getting very close to the line. And they try and oh, drive okay. over. Try. John Smith, I think. He looked like his body. Yeah, John Smith's gone to try, and he put it down on the padding of the goalpost. So that is a try to South Africa, and they put a little bit of respectability into the scoreline, 39-8. stopping he's trying to make his way in now well he's hit his uh, mark here Hargraves takes it down Moss to it they're getting pretty close to the line here and uh, now here come the runners John Smith the captain he's over they worked it very well indeed and they've scored under the posts Well, I said he wouldn't be happy about what happened to him with Jimmy Cowell. And the only way you make amends is you become a leader. And he is a leader, this man. He is inspirational. And that is the way that you get your team and your... Dupree at once more slips a short pass to Peterson and the Springboks sling it wide again for Stain. Jacques Ferry. Oh, good pass. Jacques Ferry almost clear. 10 metres away. Certainly breaching the first line of defence. Now Smith, the captain, as the Springboks start strongly here. Just over two minutes gone and all the pressure on the Welsh to defend as Matfield takes it in a little bit tentatively now Dupria works it away for Stein Berger Dupria gets there quickly again now Stein sends it wide here's a chance for Francois Stein and 
the Springbok strike early. Well, it was all South Africa, wasn't it? Almost from the kickoff. Wales go up and dispute possession. Muller was able to drag it in, but the Welsh making a real nuisance of themselves in there. Well, Springbok's not really able to form a decent maul. Now they seem to get something better going. Ball lost behind. Now Dupria slings it wide for Mornay Stain. Here's Francois Stain. Porkart, who's looked pretty slippery out on the left wing side. Ball is there. Snapped up by Dupria. Bismarck Duplessis. Big defence again by the Welsh. It's all on. It sure is. Short pass. Hogarts. The box are back. There is no doubt. Well, an emphatic response. Play there by the prop forward that allowed the momentum and for the possession to be taken. And he throw to there, claiming the ball at the line out. There's JP Peterson. Through two tackles, through a third. Straight into Marfu. Brissa. Here's Francois Stang. Running straight into Nakarawa and getting all the way up to the 22. Good ground made by South Africa. John Smith. Straight to Mornay Stain. Pat Lambie. Push. Oh dear. You can feel that up here. Stain. There's a bit of a chance here. Francois Stain. The prayer. Peterson. Stian Kamp. Stian Kamp for the corner. Gets the try. Well, really, it was the green wave machine, wasn't it? That got Steen Camp over wide. I felt the try could have come earlier from Franz Steen. There was men over. That was where the space always was. In uh, Paris. Get the line on you, ten. That club have got one or two Fijians. I say one or two, actually about four. And one of the problems that Fiji has when it comes to World Cups is getting all their players internationally here. The likes of Sorelli Bombo, who got a try in that quarter-final for Fiji against South Africa four years ago. Josh Matavesi, Vikimi Batakwa. There were three Fijians who played for Racing Metro who weren't released for the World Cup. Yanni Duplessis, referee playing advantage here. Through two attempted tackles, almost through a third. Look at Brasso is there. Dupria, chance again in the same corner. Oh, it's gone to Lambie. And Jacques Ferry. Well, you can see there how the defender is pointing to the touchline. We may well get this one referred. But Jacques Ferry is confident that he now has moved on to 31 test tries. So Smith with the throw as Francois Lowe picked it up. And stay. Free. Looking for a little gap. Looking for the offload there. Picked up by Undungani. <laughs> Through goes Dani Rousseau. Dupria, Heinrich Brasso, the little chip over the top, Francois Stein, the bounce is good, so is the step, and there is the try. Well, delight on South African faces. Franz Stein, he was the recipient of Heinrich Brasso's kick ahead, but still had the patience of mind to step in. So, confirming the line out court, it goes to Willem Alberts. He's back after his uh, brief blood pin. And there's Brousseau, you can see, with the ball tucked under his arm. 
There's the try line on the left hand side of the screen. Rousseau pops out. He's up and running again. Marfu makes the tackle. There's De Freer. Mornay stay. Jacques Ferry. Lambi looking for the offload. Hohan goes back and tidies it up. Yanni Duplessis feeling the force. Stain. Now to France, and it's JP Peterson. He got a try in that quarter final four years ago. Look at him. Takes such a lot of knocking down. Marie de Prea. And the green and gold wave is flooding towards the Fiji line. Skaltberger, Mornay Stain. There it is. South Africa claim their 100th try in the Rugby World Cup. And that is the try bonus point. Yeah, good, solid build-up there by South Africa. And Dikimanu, well, he's going to have to call this... He fell at tight head, didn't he, between about no November 2008 through to the following November, a period when he managed to accommodate both his captain and Bismarck Duplessis, but look at, look at Pierre Spies there, just brushing off the tacklers. Jacques Ferry there, getting through a couple of tackles, picked up by the player. There's Rousseau, who's had another industrious outing. Well, they've turned it, Fiji. Away comes Buatava. And scampering forward again, Nguera. But again, South Africa so quick, back in the defence of George. And look at this, they've got an opportunity to maybe go down the blind. Well, look at those turnovers. Five against seven. Peterson, trying to rip the ball out of his hand, was to a party. The replacement hooker for Fiji. Referee playing advantage. Buatava being penalised. There's Dupria. Stain, the dummy, sees the gap. It's like a parting of the seas. And through goes Francois Stein, the momentum, all oh, the offload! The beast, can he reach out? Yes, he can! Well, we've said it before, we've said it again. It's been such a solid performance, such a step up every time. And for me, Monnie Stein, well, there was options over, but the way he showed the ball, Of course, it's a stadium that they know well from their trips in the Tri-Nations. Pinar to Brousseau. Look at Skunk Berger immediately with him. What I've liked about the South Africa performance is their senior players have played really, really well. They've been confident with the ball in hand. And when they've used the bench, Hugard comes on. And look at Hohart there. He's up and running again. Pinar. Just bumps one of his teammates out of the way. They've got green jerseys out wide if they can get it through the hands. JP Peterson gathers, reorganises, still going. Look at PSB right on his shoulder again. Pinar, Berger, Rousseau, and you don't stop him from that range. A smile on the face of Rassi Erasmus. He must be impressed. Yeah, they've been good, haven't they? They've built the phases of possession. They've built the phases, they've built the confidence. It's a happy camp in, if you're a South African. If you're a Fiji. Yanchez to Kotsa. South Africa attempting to counteract. That's the 10 metre line, South African territory. Berger again. Again, solid clean out and protection of the ball. Turnover. 
trouble here. Lovely pass from Hogarth to Eplin. He's just too quick. We talked about the turnovers. A first World Cup try for Gio Eplin. And South Africa quick to punish. And turned over by the Springboks. Berger away to Donny Rousseau. And Brian Havana up the left touchline. And there is the Springbok try scoring record. Tied with US Trun de Vestes and. Well, I'd say the, the backs have said, we don't want it. You guys can have to play your own little game up there. He's given a well, penalty he's, try. He's, he's going to award the penalty try. It went through the 90. Legal tactics there by the Namibian scrum and a great effort by Gertrude Stian Camp. Brilliant handling there by Van Sale and also Van Veek. Speeds then to Hogarth. Stepping from Stein to Thurin. Well, they just asserted their midfield superiority there and Francois Stein his size and offloading ability. We've seen some terrific defence here from the Namibians in this second half. They're really having a crack. Hogarth. Still there for Borta. Brilliant tackle by Chrysantha Borta, the fullback for Namibia, but look at the overlap here. They're queuing up. Francois Stein. He scored a try in every World Cup game in this tournament. Just too much power there. And it's stoppage and play. Oh, roll them all out. Rousseau. <laughs> Referee calls it a mole. Trying to pull the player's leg out, but Namifi is done well. Here's Hogarth. There it is. Mornay Stain. And just giving Hogarth a little peck on the cheek. South Africa just showing terrific support play here. That's... Ten meter line. Space. He beat two. Look who's inside. De Jong. Try number seven for the box. And a great moment there for Juan De Jong, who scored a brilliant solo try against Wales at Cardiff on debut last year. Furi de Priya then. Pina playing a fly half, and here's Hogarth on the wing. Brilliant work from Ferri. De Jong looking for another one. The Beast and Tarawira. De Priya. Pina goes wide. Has to be. Aplon, number two. That's a great pass from the captain, Johnny Schmidt. Albert's doing well at the front. He's had a very strong game. Berger then. Francois Lowe taken to ground. Another gap, another try. Hogarth this time. It's too easy now for the box. Leaks appearing everywhere in this Namibian defence. They battled so valiantly for 60 minutes. 40 did Namibia is certainly a lot more difficult and a lot more energy sapping when you don't have possession of the ball and you're chasing a rampant South African side. And no one coming through the line out there for Namibia. An indication of their fatigue. 
to De Pia. Smith cut out. Pina. De Jong looking for a hat trick or a second try. Uh, the Orange Boots there in favour tonight. It's the second one tonight, and with bitch like that. Here's De Pria. No mercy. Back to Rousseau. Another big game from the giant Springbok lock. Smets to Rallapelli. Lovely hands to the beasts. And Tawarira. Berger was underneath. De Pria. Back to De Pria again now. Ruin Pina. First try tonight for Danny Rousseau. Oh. And there have been so many turnovers at the breakdown in the second half for the South Africans. Boga to Pina. Strength from Hogarth. Did the referee get in the way? He said no. A clear run to the line. A lovely swerve and step from little Hogarth. And isn't he one of the players of the future in international rugby? Yeah. And that's the second one tonight. They're looking pretty good in that last couple of minutes. Three or four weeks of this tournament. Dupree finds Farid. He's tipped up by the Samoan number two, Mahonri Schwalger. Here's Bismarck Duplessis. Taken on by Skulp Berger. It's been largely South Africa so far, and this is Stain weaving his way through the Blue Forest. Berger again, Fareed takes the hit but gets the ball away, and this is Havana! <laughs> South Africa took a mighty bruise to create that opportunity. <laughs>